Hello and welcome to Cornish Walking Trails. Today we're in Marazion. <laughs> it's a bit of a misty day. St Michael's Mount is out there somewhere. Looking gorgeous, isn't it? <laughs> Sometimes it gets like this in Cornwall. What we're going to do today is catch a bus from here, Marazion, go into Penzance, have a wander along the prom, which has just been renovated, get some lunch pick up the southwest coast craft after that and walk back through Long Rock back to here, Marizion. Marizion is on the south coast of Cornwall near Penzance. Somewhere out there is the mount. Confidence. Yeah, well, no, you can see the bottom of the mount now, can't you? It is clearing. We're getting ready then. Yeah. So the bus will be coming down from Helston Way, won't it? Due shortly. Oh. <laughs> I didn't know you were filming. Oh yeah. From there. Yeah. <laughs> Here's our bus. Hello there. Tickets. Oh yeah. Help, sell it. <laughs> Cheers. Thank you. Yes. So two singles. Two pen fans. Four pen. Yeah. That's pretty good. Yeah, excellent. <coughs> Station. Do you want to go and have a look? Yeah, I love the railway station. Let's go and have a look. This beautiful station is Penzance Railway Station. It was actually opened on the 11th of March 1852. Uh, but at that stage, it was quite limited where you could get to. You could basically go from Red Roof to here. And it was after that that the line got extended up to Truro and then eventually up to Plymouth and beyond in 1859 with the Royal Albert Bridge going in over the River Tamar. Oh, I never thought about that. Yeah. So what was it like joining up a mine work railway? It was. And... So the problem they had here was this was on a, uh, a narrower gauged track, the track that was laid. It wasn't the broader track, which ah, was the standard. It was standardised. Yeah, so... Um, and the original station it wasn't as it looks today. This has obviously been built um, and the, nice. the granite facade with the, with the incredible roof that went in at a later date. But initially they actually had a wooden, almost like a small viaduct, because it's right on the sea line here. It's a whole embankment and the side it wasn't in place at that time. Well, it's midday, isn't it? Yeah. It is lunchtime, so uh, it'd be rude not to. So, should we try and find some lunch somewhere? <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> when I go to Penzance, I like to eat at the Honey Pot. They prepare all of their own foods and bake their own cakes. The menu is varied and caters well for both vegan and gluten free diets. Oh wow, that looks amazing. And mine is a red cabbage and apple slaw. Little slice of that. Oh, look at that. The skin on this jacket potato is actually crispy, crunchy. It's absolutely beautiful. Salted caramel brownie. Yeah, tuck it in then. I will. That is beautifully moist. It has the same texture as a carrot cake, slightly spiced, and it's delicious. Yours is nearly all gone. Yeah. So, verdict? Very good. Moist. Could have done with being bigger. <laughs> Leaves 
to hunt them with straw. Don't you just love it when a plan comes together? That was a lovely meal, wasn't it? So we started in Marazine in the mist, caught a bus to Penzance, ate in the cafe we wanted to eat in. We haven't done any walking yet. I think we should after all that. So we're going to head down to the prom. They've done a, a kind of refurb. Yeah, we'll just check it out. Yeah. So we cannot officially start our walk today until we get to the end of the prom. Well, I'll wait for you here. It's there. It's just, literally there. Just there. Behind just a seagull. But have you felt that? Have you felt that on your face? Was that from a seagull? No, it's from that black cloud over there. Well, I'm, I, I'm yeah. going to do this professionally. I'm going to start my walk at the wall at the end of the prom. Well, I can't be outdone really, can I? So we've got to go all the way. What have you got then, Andrew? So this is uh, an old travel guide, um, the Wardlock Guide of Penzance. It's actually from 1921, so it's 100 years old. Wow, 100 let, years old. Let me show you in here a picture. Oh, that's amazing. This is prom. It is. It's 100 years ago, so that's very large building going along there then. I wonder, is that the hotel maybe? Is that the Queen's yeah, Hotel? Yeah, I think it's just up there. Okay, just beyond the flagpole. Yeah. Obviously this was a very popular place to enjoy Penzance a hundred years ago. And it's just as popular today, isn't it? There's loads yes. of people out. <laughs> yeah. And you've got fantastic views across Mounts Bay from here. And a really nice view of Penzance. So we're going to stroll all the way along here, back to where we were at the railway station, and then all the way along the front around Mount's Bay back to Marazion. And we're going to explore this fantastic new promenade on our way. Yes. Are you, are you ready to get cycling? Tour of Britain started here last weekend. I did, I missed it. Yeah, we did, didn't we? Yeah, and I've left my bike at home. Yeah. <laughs> and we've got a tour of dog at the moment. Tour of dog, there we go. It's the front side of a dog, there's the side of a dog, there's the back of the dog. No, it's turning. <laughs> There's little points of interest by the looks of it all the way along the prom now. So we've got Tour of Britain. This is where it started. In fact, this weekend, the cyclists all grouped up here set off on their Tour of Britain from this very spot. So you sound a giant egg. I know. Look how shiny and polished these big pebbles are. They're massive. These huge pebbles, to me, the way I interpret this, they're almost like the pebbles that are on the beach, but obviously far larger. And over the years, I know I've seen workmen down here having to cordon bits off after winter storms when pebbles have crashed up onto the prom and broken the old paving slabs. So I wonder if this is a bit of an attempt by the council to reduce the maintenance, concrete the whole surface, and pay a nod to these big pebbles that crash up every year. Well done. Then. And now. Yeah, it's here, isn't it? Yeah. Do it again. Up we go. Is it better like that? Or better like this? Like that? Like this? <laughs> Leave a note in the comments. I love what they've done. They've made it nice and clean. It's tidy. Got aluminium chairs, they're in rust. I like all the bits of interest that they've put on the floor as well. Yeah. It's the good. perfect place to promenade. Yeah, on Penzance Promenade. <laughs> At risk of repeating ourselves from a video a couple of months ago, we're coming up to the Jubilee Pool that's recently been refurbished. We've got a hot rocks project as part of it's heated now. The Grand Sutcliffe and Gel Limited London. It's a lovely turnstile. little pool on the right here is the geothermal pool yes. and that heats up to just over 30 degrees like and it's very very popular isn't it look at that lots of people inside and the bigger pool the non-heated pool it's still quite popular quite popular yeah i know which one i go for So 
ask him what his favourite shape is. He says polygon. <laughs> Time I went. Yeah. <laughs> well done, look at everybody doing it now. <laughs> <laughs> He made it. Back at the bus station, aren't we? Yeah. Railway station. Yeah. Do you know, Sarah, I've got the strangest feeling. <laughs> We've been here before. Oh no. Different <laughs> video. A couple of weeks ago. It's all right, I'm fine again now. <laughs> Don't worry. So we need to head down behind the buses and pick up the set for a coast path. Let's get marching. Go on then. Up to you. Excited by trains. I know, so do I. Oh, Completely childlike irrationality. Yes, I know. It's fun, isn't it? And ice cream. <laughs> and chips. And, chips. and chocolate. And coffee. Are they winkle pickers or mussel pickers? Or seaweed pickers? Possibly seaweed, I don't know. I mean, it could be, could be all three. <laughs> I would have thought it's probably mussels. Yeah. But we're saying that they'd be on rocks, wouldn't they? Not here though, would they? But they are on the north coast, so perhaps it is. I know they dig up like worms and stuff, don't they, for bait off oh, beaches. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. But they're could definitely picking well. up like more solid things. Seen all the mounds here. Yeah. I was going to ask them. Get wet feet, I'm not doing that. You're a mate, what's in your bag? <laughs> As we were saying earlier, this bit of land has been reclaimed. All these great big granite boulders stops it damaging, stops the sea damaging the railway tracks. This stretch of beach all the way up to the mount now has a very good reputation for sea glass. So there's no way that I can spend an afternoon walking along the top path when there could be some sea glass on the beach. So let's have a look. You know, I think in a previous life you must have been a tin streamer or something. <laughs> what have you found? Isn't that a beautiful colour? Look at that one. Gorgeous. Yeah, it sits on here. Beautiful colour that one, isn't it? You can add that to the pile. Doing quite I... well. Yeah. Glass. Looking for sea glass is addictive. If ever you've tried looking for it, you'll think, oh, <laughs> there's another bit. <laughs> you always think you're going to miss the next bit. The oh, only way one. we can stop picking up sea glass is if we walk up the top in it. What have you found? I'm quite pleased with what I found. The quantity maybe isn't here, but the quality is beautiful. It's really smooth. I've got a piece of pottery there see the oh, old yeah. blue markings on it and there's a exquisite blue one there so yeah although the quantity isn't here I think the quality is pretty good you got an idea what you might do of it um, yeah I might do a sea glass stack with the mount in the background <laughs> that's a good idea <laughs> I want a nice uh... how tall are you gonna go oh five is usually my limit I think got a nice Three. firm base there though Sarah Yes. I reckon you could go higher. Oh, is that a challenge? Yeah. Um, right, the next one. This isn't as easy as it looks, you know. No, 
no. Oh, 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 I've got six. How many in your stack then? Six. Six? Six? Yeah, six. <laughs> yeah. Did you go to school? <laughs> well, there's six pieces, including a sea brick piece. And they are so well rounded. They just look like little tutti fruity sweeties that you just want to eat. They're, oh, I love oh, them. they're lovely. I'm so pleased with that. <laughs> Great big um, buildings here on the railway line. I think this is where they do all the cleaning of the engines, don't they? Yeah, we've seen it before, haven't they? They go in one end really dirty. <laughs> Come out the other end lovely and clean and shiny. Clever stuff, isn't it? How many seagulls sit on that roof? Oh my god. Nice Whoa. with that Hitchcock film, Sarah. Birds. Psycho! <laughs> I was only filming to show you just how long. This train shed is, it, it goes on forever. We are on the fantastic surface, it's newly laid. We've actually been aware that they've been relaying this stretch, haven't we? I will and film it's you perfect. walking along this perfect stretch. You could actually continue from the end of the prom, which must be now getting on for a mile and a half away. And there's been uninterrupted access all the way. afternoon the sound of the sea is just so relaxing it's very calming isn't it it's quite loud admittedly but i do love it Fancy holding the mount. It's pretty easy to move your hand on the mount. So up, 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 up. Keep going up. Higher, higher, higher. Right, to you. Right, keep going to you, to you. Hang on, no, no, right, hang on. That's it, right, stop. Right, up, 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 down, up. Perfect, bark. There we are. Now coming into Mara's Iron, the mount is in full view on our right hand side, but we are too late. The tide has come in, so we won't be able to go and explore the harbour. Not today anyway, might do that soon. It seems unbelievable now that when we arrived this morning, there was so much mist. The rain was coming down, it was clamped in. Couldn't even see the mount. <sighs> Amazing! It's like two different days. Okay. The light here this evening is extraordinary. You've got the bright sunlight and behind on the moorland is mist. It's like as if it's coming back again to envelop the Cornish coastline once more. Morning. One objective today, get on a bus at Marizion 
take it into Penzance and walk back along the southwest coast path, which we did. We did, yeah. So we took the opportunity to have a look at the refurbished prom in Penzance. Had lunch in Penzance, fantastic lunch. Yeah, so and then we've decided to pick up the southwest coast path and just meander our way back to Marazion again. What a yeah. lovely walk, it's been a great day. There's an excellent comment a while ago that included the word bimble, and I think that's probably what we did this afternoon. Probably. Because <laughs> there's no walk book and there's no map or anything like that, we can't really score it, but we hope you've enjoyed it. We've had a fabulous day, and thanks for coming along with us today. Yeah, cheers, see you next Bye. time. If you've enjoyed our video today, then please give us a thumbs up, and if you haven't done so already, please subscribe, it really does help us out free on YouTube as well and you can follow us on Instagram and Facebook for news. You can. Which we have some. We've got a 24 hour stay in that house there coming up on our channel soon. The lovely granite one there. It's called the Upper Deck. It's a luxury B&B here in Marazion. <laughs> <laughs>